They used to joke in business, you couldn't succeed in America if you're Indian. Now you can only succeed if you're Indian. Indians have made such an impact on America. I am Shadow Khan. Thank you, Ambassador. I'm so grateful to you. I've been waiting, it's been my dream to get an Indian food visa. From being the mayor to Los Angeles in America, to being US ambassador to India, this country's embassy interviews every single Indian before granting them a visa. But today, I have the honor of interviewing him, taking him on a food trail in Darya Ganj, Delhi. And let's see if I approve his Indian food visa. On this episode of Tere Gali Mein, I am visiting the US ambassador to India's home, Eric Garchetti. Let's see if samosas and hamburgers can coexist in perfect harmony. Hello. Hi. Welcome. It's nice to Thank see you, you again. Thank you so much. Awesome. You have a beautiful home. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> We're so happy to finally have a US ambassador to India after yes. six long months, right? There was yes. nobody, big shoes to fill in. Yeah, well, there's nothing <laughs> like pent up demand to have a warm and enthusiastic <laughs> welcome. So India has been amazing, embracing yeah. me and my family with so much kindness. When I was researching about you, yeah. I realized that Hindi as well as Indian culture is something that you've learned. Were yeah. you always prepping up to be the US ambassador to India? I never <laughs> dreamed that I'd be ambassador to India, but I did fall in love with India when I was 14. I came here with my sister, who was 16, and my parents. Okay. We traveled the entire country. Um, it was a, a different place, but it was the same spirit. And then I came back here when I was 19 years old, because at university, yeah. coincidentally, my college roommate, who was yeah. just randomly assigned to me, his father became yeah. the U.S. ambassador to India. So that sounds unreal. Then, <laughs> I was taking Hindi and Urdu already. Yeah. I loved and was interested in India. And he said, my dad just became ambassador. Do you want to come to India? So my second trip, I actually stayed in the ambassador's residence. And here you are exactly. as the ambassador. <laughs> I can't believe it. I mean, life comes in full circle. I'm a big believer the universe does the right things at yeah. the right times. So maybe it was too early. I thought I would come live here when I was 20 after that. Yeah. Um, but I got involved in student politics and yeah. that took me in a different route. But when the president called me, it wasn't just the president of the United States. I felt like there was some sort of higher power that said, you've always wanted to be in India. Eric, now this is your time. Wow. And we're so happy to have you as the ambassador to India. And Thank a very warm welcome to Thank India you. on behalf of all the Indians who are watching well, this right let's now. Let's be honest. You're not really welcome to India until Curly Tails welcome you to India. <laughs> That's very kind of you. <laughs> so I love that part of my job because, yes, I'm an ambassador from the United States to India. Yeah. But I also get to be an ambassador of India back to the United States. Absolutely. And let's hope through this video we are able to communicate a yes. huge message there to all the Americans who book their tickets right away and come to come, India. Come visit me. Come on. I'll show you around. <laughs> but you've had a long-standing political career. Yeah. Uh, in addition to that, an acting career as well. A little bit, yeah. When I was a child, I thought I wanted to be an actor. I was a musician, composer. My So after college, I thought I would go into music, maybe acting. I've always done TV, some, some movie work, wow. and, uh, and then politics. I just felt that there was a world that needed improvements. I yeah. started at the local level in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. became mayor of Los Angeles, and now I get to bring that experience to the global level. LA has Hollywood, yes, and do. India has Bollywood. And Tollywood. <laughs> and Tollywood, of course. And given your acting uh, background and career, I, I do think you stand a very strong okay. chance make a debut here as well. So to any directors out there, I'm available. <laughs> I'll work for free. Uh, you know, how can you say no? So. See, you give visa to everybody who Absolutely. wants to visit US. Yes. But I will give you an Indian food visa if you qualify today, knowing some food dishes that I name. I love it. Okay. Vada pav. Probably like a slider, I would say. Yeah. So you know vada yeah. pav. Great. Oh, the best. Pakoda. Pakoda is like, um, well, where I come from in Los Angeles, I'd say an empanada, which is like a, it's very similar, but it's stuffed and it's actually from Central America. Um, and you put whatever into the breading, so like a, a little kind of dumpling right there. Wow, okay. Naan. 
Naan is a tortilla. Pani puri. Pani puri, that's the equivalent for us. I love puri. It's the best thing I think I've had here is a puri in Kolkata on the streets. Um, yeah, it's called puchka. But yeah, the puchka. <laughs> um, I, we don't really have a chewy bread equivalent. It's probably a chalupa. Do you know about ghee? Of course, ghee. Ghee's butter, but you know, it's butter without all the solids. So yeah. clarified butter, we call it. <laughs> Bang gone. <laughs> I have to say, your food visa to India is approved. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ambassador. I'm so grateful to you. I've been waiting. It's been my dream to get an Indian food visa. Before we begin this food trail, yes. I want you to take me to one of your favorite places. Here. Great. So when I first came back here, when mm. I was 19, I found in Old Delhi a great tea store called Apki Pasand, as you wish. Pasand. Fanciest place I'd ever been. They would bring me cups of tea to sample. Yeah. And I left there with so much tea, I was able to use it for the next three years in New York where I was living. Wow, I'm sure you don't have the stock anymore. So let's go today let's and go stock some. it up today. Let's, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Okay. <laughs> we used to have buildings like this. This yeah. was Hollywood. All the Hollywood stars would meet there. Right. Have you been to LA? No, I haven't. I haven't You've been to America been, yet. You've never been to America? I've never been to America yet. Why do you think I am here? Maybe after okay. this you will grant me so, the US yeah, exactly. visa. So if, you gave, so if you gave me the food visa, I'll get you an American visa. I mean, Done. even the US ambassador can't grant it, but I can get you an interview. For sure. okay, okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Los Angeles is hosting the Olympics for the third time. Oh, so this wow. is a very exclusive, <laughs> brand new sweatshirt. This is Olympics. amazing. Thank you. It's a sign. It's Absolutely. a sign. It's a I need sign. to come to LA as soon as possible. And <laughs> if you want to compete in one of the sports, maybe you'll be a medalist. Course. I have I have about four years to prepare. Good, good. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> let's get started. Okay, let's get some tea. Thank you so much for You're this. Welcome. <laughs> this is the chai. Yeah. Not exactly what you get on the street, but yeah. the same flavors, I think. So, can I yeah. add some milk for you? Yes, please. Oh, thank you. Mm. So, go. at every Indian household, this is how they begin yes. their day. Exactly. Have you been doing that in India or not really? I, I start most of my days with <laughs> masala chai at home, chole bhaturi, oh, and wow. then I feel ready for the rest of the day. <laughs> Nothing, nothing bad can happen. Well, that's the Indian that. way of living. And there's one more thing, yeah. which is parleji biscuit. Well, there's two more things. There's the parleji biscuit. And there's sugar. <laughs> if you're doing it the authentic Indian Absolutely. way, there's going to be some sugar, right? There's going to be a little more, actually. Yeah, if not. it is Indian way, then yeah. How much can we dissolve? <laughs> that's exactly. it. Thank All right. you. And then, of course, <laughs> the parleji. Parleji. And you know, there's a trick to this, right? You have to dip it in the chai ah, and make sure yep. that you're able to still have it because it shouldn't melt inside right. the tea. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right. Okay. Not bad. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. So good. Mine is still a little crispy. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Mine got a little soggy. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but you're more experienced. <laughs> How does it feel to be a politician? Because I've been saying you. You know, with the convoy of cars. Right, right. I mean, it's very fancy. I want to know if I should pursue a career in <laughs> politics. <laughs> Look, what you said, you know, mm. having security and all mm. of those sorts of things, you have to push outside the bubble. Yeah. I think mm. once you become famous in media, mm. in politics, in Bollywood, yeah. it's very easy to live in a bubble. Right. And you have to remember who are the people that you serve, who are the people that you connect with. As ambassador, I really want to see the India I know and love. It's okay. a little bit more difficult when yeah. you become ambassador because yeah. all, all of the bubble around you. Yeah. But I'm going to pop that bubble a lot. Yeah. You'd, you'd be a, you're a natural and you'd be a great politician. I think okay. you could, you know how to connect with people. Right. You have to be a good listener. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I've seen you on your videos. You you sit most of the time asking a question and listening. Call me before you make the decision. <laughs> Do you know Tom Cruise, by the way? You must be knowing uh -huh. him, right? Yeah, yeah. I've met him for sure. Oh, okay, yeah. so when I visit to LA for uh -huh. the Olympics, right. do you think you can fix a meeting with Tom no Cruise? No problem. Yeah? We'll, we'll call him. Okay, done. We'll, we'll hook it up. We'll make it happen. <laughs> Absolutely. So we're going to play a fun game. Yes, let's Which is it. called Never Have I Ever. Oh, I know okay? this one. <laughs> so if you have, you get mm -hmm. to take a sip of your chai. 
I played this once with tequila. Okay. I think it's All better right. to do with chai than tequila. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Never have I ever fake complimented someone's cooking. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> okay. Gave a fake reason to excuse yourself from a meeting. No? Okay. <laughs> Forgotten a line or two while giving a speech. <laughs> Can I have some more tea? <laughs> Had a full conversation with someone without being able to recall the person's name. <laughs> Re-gifted a gift. Hold on, I gotta get to my second cup here. <laughs> you are really done with it, I can't believe it. This game can be tough. <laughs> well, there's more here. <laughs> Boarded the wrong train or bus. No. no? No? Okay. I missed one. I missed the plane once. Oh, you did? Okay. I thought it was the next day and I showed up one day late. But never have I gotten on the wrong one. Wrong one. Like okay. Pretended to not know a language to get done with the conversation. No, but I've been a very good listener to languages I don't understand. Really? I was once on a plane ride <laughs> okay. and somebody was speaking a language I didn't know. Yeah. And I just kept going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> and for three hours that person talked to me. Wow. I think you can understand each other even if you don't understand a language. Okay, now this is something I do. Okay. I want to know if you mm -hmm. do it. Praise someone excessively before giving a critical feedback. I must have done that. First, let me say you're all doing an amazing job. I've never been on such a great program. You're the best interviewer. <laughs> Thank you. Now, oh. what I'd like to suggest... <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure you must be finding India a lot more cheaper, right? Oh, than... For $10, you can, you mm -hmm. can live for a week. Yeah. I've got $10 here. Okay. What can we get in Delhi, the best food for just $10? You will get the world in $10. I get to keep this, right? Yeah, it's yours. Okay, great. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> right. So this is the place that introduced butter chicken. <laughs> Murk mak. Murk makne, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Some of the most amazing dignitaries have come here. Yeah. You can see a picture of Amitabh Bachchan here. Of course. And next time they are going to have your picture No, here. I think it's going to be you. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be... What, what's your favorite uh, classic <laughs> Bollywood movie? I love all Shah Rukh Khan movies. Yeah? yeah. yeah? yeah. DDLJ? Of course, DDLJ, yeah. of course. I mean, that's yeah. that's have, you, have you seen Shah Rukh Khan movies? Of course. And, and you met him recently, right? I had an amazing meeting with him when I was in Mumbai. Right. We hit it off. We talked cricket. We talked Hollywood. We talked Bollywood. Beautiful. I can go very spicy. I think one of the misperceptions that Indians have about Americans is yeah. that we don't like spicy food. Yeah. I love spicy food. Yeah. Um, Your I, belly can take Delhi food. Belly. <laughs> that's the kind of Delhi belly that I'm in favor of. <laughs> is this chili in here? Yes, it is. You okay. can have chili. Right there. Oh, yeah. All right. Here, here's, I am here's, so impressed. Here's test. And, and I have approved the visa for the right person. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad. <laughs> Some naan? Yes, please. Uh -huh. <laughs> is, is this your usual lunch now in India or not? It's really? one of them. At home, we actually have this uh, probably once or twice uh, every week at home. Amazing. So have, you, have you tried your hand at cooking or not yet? Yeah, uh, I have. In fact, when I was just dating my wife before we married, um, yeah. we used to cook Indian food at home in the United States. So oh, it's been something that... It wasn't just when I was in India or at an Indian restaurant, but we have Indian yeah. flavors in our kitchen all the time. Yeah. This is so good. Thank you. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Do, do you think the ambassador can eat a chili? Should I do it? No. Well, <laughs> well okay. All right. Well done! Wow, I don't think I can do that, honestly. All right, might as well go okay? for both. That's oh, fine, yeah. Are you okay? And now, let's do the... Mmm. <laughs> Perfect. That's how you enjoy butter so chicken, naan, and onion. <laughs> I hope I passed the test. You did, with flying colors. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> do you do the onions? Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. See? She's, she's real, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably have to take a nap after this. Okay, you so need good. one. You need one for sure. Good food makes you sleepy. <laughs> but this, no, all joking aside, hmm. this butter chicken is like another level. Absolutely. Yeah, it's really, it really good. Yeah. Do you yeah. cook? I do. 
What but, are your specialties? So I don't know if you've heard of Sindhi uh -huh. cuisine. Yeah, Have you? Yeah, of you course, have? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm Sindhi. Sindhi. Oh, nice. And um, every Sunday uh -huh. we make something called a Sindhi curry. Yeah. So the next time you come to Mumbai, I would love please do Sindhi come curry. to our house. Promise. Yeah. All right. Promise. Love it. I would love. That's great. <laughs> it's, and I know that there's a huge Indian diaspora living in the United yeah. States of America Absolutely. as well. What do you think is their perception, Americans' perception towards Indians? That's such a great question because I think Americans have such an affinity for Indians. One in five Americans have been treated by an Indian doctor who immigrated to the United States. Um, Indians are about 1% or people of Indian descent, 1% of our population, 6% mm -hmm. of our tax base. So this is very successful professionals, engineers. They used to joke in business, you couldn't succeed in America if you were Indian. Now you can only succeed if you're Indian, you know, <laughs> right? If you come in running Google, running Starbucks, yeah. running, yeah. Uh, you know, Microsoft. So I think that Indians have made such an impact on America. But Americans, as I said, don't know much. They might know some butter chicken. They might, yeah. you know, have seen RRR and seen Natu Natu. Yeah. But I think they don't understand the diversity and the variety. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a lot of, of progress. And I think a lot of um, excitement about Indian culture, music, movies, religions, yeah. all of that is kind of brewing all at the same time. So what is Dosti Month all about? Well, Dosti Month celebrates that we're not new friends. We're mm. actually quite old friends. Mm. You know, from America advocating India's independence with the British to the way that in the 50s and the 60s, the, the Green Revolution that helped India feed itself Americans and Indians have been doing things for so long. Yeah. We have Fulbright scholars, thousands of them, that have come here and studied, and their lives have been changed, and vice versa. We've had Indian students who have come to America and changed. We have a vice president who's yeah. Indian-American, our friend Kamala Harris. So I think it's celebrating that at every level we're connected, and just kind of it's a dare. If you're Indian, find something new about America. Like, learn something new, yeah. connect with something new. And if you're American, find something new about India that you didn't know. You know, maybe you had an idea, but the thing about India is it will always surprise you. Right. There's something different right around the corner. How was your dosti with our Prime Minister of India? <laughs> it's been great. I always say, I always start when I see him Kemcho. Kemcho, so in, in, yes. Kemcho, you know, in Gujarati to say hello. Yes. But we've, we've been together probably a dozen times already from mm. Independence Day to congressional delegations in the Oval Office to here in his Bowen. Um, and I think we've seen a connection between our two leaders mm -hmm. that's really deep and really strong. How was G20? G20 was amazing. Yeah. I mean, this was the most successful yeah. G20, I think, in history. Hmm. And India did such a beautiful job of showing off her states and her cultures. They got to see an India they didn't expect. Right. And lots of times the G20 is just in the nation's capital, nothing yeah. more. But Really, congratulations to India for showing the world its diversity. You may need to work out a little extra oh, today. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> We've got some kulfi for you. Some mitai. <laughs> mitai, yes. Aye, aye. You want to cancel your meetings? I do. <laughs> Let's go to four more restaurants together. <laughs> That I'm going to give you a quick choice. Okay. Starbucks coffee mm -hmm. or Kulhar chai? Kulhar chai. US McDonald's or India McDonald's? The US McDonald's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which one have you tried here? I've tried in, in near Connaught uh, Circle. Yeah, but have you tried the Mek Maharaja? Oh, yeah, no, no, the Mek Maharaja. I've, I've had, <laughs> my daughter went through all through the menu because she's so fascinated that it's like a parallel universe of McDonald's. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, dining in or dining out? Dining out. Okay. Do you have any favorite restaurants that you often visit? Not yet. I mean, if you really want to spend a little bit of money, uh, Indian accent is yeah. incredible. I mean, yeah. it's just, it's like an artistic expression through food. Wow, yes. Chole Bhature or club sandwich? Chole Bhature. Instagram or Twitter? Instagram. Elon Musk or Mark Zuckerberg? <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg. Thanksgiving turkey or butter chicken? After today, yeah. butter chicken. Okay. <laughs> Kurkure or Cheetos? A kukuri. Paranthe or pancakes? Pancakes. Pancakes? Yeah. Since I've been here, yeah. I've been to Modi Stadium, I right. went to IPL matches. Right. And I think it would be amazing for the Olympics to finally include cricket. Yeah, I mean, and if that happens, I'm telling you, uh, you are going to be the permanent US ambassador to India. I'll get my permanent visa from you? <laughs> Absolutely. Good. Excellent, excellent. Well, what about my visa? Starts with a sweatshirt. <laughs> 
Then Tom Cruise. <laughs> then we'll work on a, the permanent visa for you. Okay. <laughs> I want to know how many Bollywood dance moves do you know? But I, I love kind of the anything with the shoulders is always good, you know. Like that. Like, like you know, just kind of get the shoulders going. Wow. And, and then from there, then you go up and you go and you down, down, up, <laughs> and you go down, you go side to side, to side to side. <laughs> I am Shadow Khan. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. You know, he kind of just is the master of so doing hip hop. You know, yeah. it might be like break dancing. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> um, if it's if it's Spanish, you know, yeah. music, uh, yeah. Latin music. You know, yeah. it's all in the well. I have to stand up to okay. do it. Okay. It's, it's like here. Okay. To, so so. Yeah. It's like hmm. you have to do it like this. Okay. And then yeah, it's with your hip. You got it. Okay. Right? Not bad. Okay. <laughs> So that's like that's another one too. Okay. And then then I think for this break dancing on the ground, okay. which we could do. But, okay. You know, like, oh wow. Like that. There's like a couple moves, but I, I don't want to do too many of those. I don't know. We'll save it for the next. We'll save it for the Daniel. next one. But you have to be a versatile dancer. Absolutely. You're a great dancer. I don't know what you say. Thank you very much. Wow, I've got some dance lessons also as a part of this food trail. Thank you so much, of Ambassador. Of course, my pleasure. So, so I have a question for you. Yeah. Now that we've had this, yeah. you said I could get all of this for less than ten dollars. What yeah. did this add up to? It was less than ten dollars. A little more than ten dollars. Oh, so, five hundred and fifty rupees for the butter uh -huh. chicken, oh. ninety rupees for the naan, and this one is for close to two hundred rupees. But so. less than ten dollars each. Yes, right? less than ten dollars each. Amazing. Absolutely. So, Amazing. five five dollars. Oh, isn't it a treat? Did you hear that, Americans? Come, come here. I know the plane. <laughs> Costs a little bit more than that, <laughs> but once you get here, it's so cheap. <laughs> Ambassador, it's been lovely spending this day with you, uh, from having chai to butter chicken and enjoying this full cool feed. I you. do wish you cancel your meeting and we continue this food trail. Yeah, but I know. You know <laughs> all good things must come to an end, but it doesn't mean that short visits don't result in long friendships. Absolutely, so, and, I, friendship and I look forward years. for you to come to Mumbai so I could take you on a food I trail. I can't wait. There. I'll see you there soon. Yes, absolutely. And thanks thank to everybody so for watching. <laughs> <laughs> so I have something for you. Yeah. So, so this is for you, and inside oh. you can open up. I it's, can. Yeah. yeah. It's just okay. a little memory. So sweet. Since okay. you were such our VVIP at our national day, <laughs> this we is a print, printed out a little memory. <laughs> oh wow! So, uh, we just recreated this exactly. pose right outside Moti exactly. Mahal as well. <laughs> This is that was from the night of California dreaming. Oh yeah, this is such a nice picture. Oh, and I have to sign it. So I forgot to sign it. Thank Kevin, you, thank yep. you so much. Here. This is so sweet of Absolutely. you. Absolutely.